Welcome back to the Kinetic Studios. I'm Q Coach Ariel, and today I'm doing part one of a three-part series. I'm gonna do a floor bar series that's about 20 minutes each. Today is gonna to be the very basic one, like a beginner one. If you're very, if you've never taken floor bar before, this is a nice intro to it. Next week, I'll do about an intermediate level, and then the week after that, we'll do an advanced level. This one will be pretty much mostly lying down, and then I'll work up through the levels to standing and actually at the bar. So, to start, we're gonna start standing, and then we'll go down to a mat. You don't need any shoes today. You can be barefoot if you'd like, or socks are fine. So come to a parallel hip width apart, and you're gonna plie and do the shoulders roll back, and pop one, pop one ankle, and down. Four starch and down, alternate, up and back, up and back. Wake up the calves and the ankle joint. We're gonna do a lot of flexing and pointing, a lot of ballet there. Um, and wake up the shoulders too. Couple more, now switch the circle. Now come forward, up and forward. And a two, and three, and four, and a five, and six, and seven, and eight, repeat the same thing in first position. So this is from ballet, heels together, toes point outwards. Don't worry about how turned out you are. Make sure you're doing it from a muscular point of view. So plie and pop the heel down and up. Get those shoulders going. And four, and five, and six, full range of motion, and seven, and eight. Reverse the circle, coming forward towards me. Big circles, get the joint. Get the back moving. Five, six, seven, and eight. Stay in that first position. You're gonna bounce forward. Relax the top of the torso. Bounce twice, and then to the side. Bounce twice, and up to the ceiling. Hold that stomach, and to the other side. Repeat, forward for two. Let the body hang. Stretch out those, that rib cage, and to the ceiling and to the side. Switch the circles, keep the bounce going. Plie, warm up those calves. Other side for two. To the ceiling for two, stomach held. And side for two. Once more and forward. Relax the head and shoulders. Relax to the side. And up to the ceiling, open up that chest. And down. All right, let's take a second position. So this is wider than your hips, still turned out. And you're gonna do a nice lunge over to the right. Reach side and switch. Bend the other leg and reach the other way. Circle those arms. Really get the calf stretch on the standing leg. Reach, reach, reach with that torso. Really get that side stretch going. Couple more, keep breathing. Eight and a seven and a six. Never stop moving. Five, four, Three, two, last one. All right, let's start some floor bar. So come on down to your mat, or a rug if you don't have a mat, it's fine. We're gonna do a lot lying down. So come on to your back. You're gonna start in parallel. Try to get in the middle of your mat. All right, we're gonna do some flex and point. The legs stay very, very straight. Relax the upper body, hands by the side. And then you're going to flex the feet Turn out, squeeze those rotator muscles to first position, and then point, turn in, and a flex. Turn out, point, turn in. So I'm using my glutes like crazy in order to turn out and stabilize that position. This is where your natural turnout is, what you can do from muscle point of view and not just forcing when you're standing. Remember that when we stand. And flex, point, last time, and flex, turn out, point, turn in. All right, we're gonna do the same thing, sit it up, sitting up. So sit on your, on your butt bones, hold the stomach, arms in fifth position above your head, nice straight legs, and flex, turn out, point, turn in. So floor bar was designed to help with ballet. And so you're using gravity in order to find your stabilization of your stomach muscles and your core, and then you can do the same thing when you're standing. Flex, turn out, point, turn in. Just a couple more. Flex, turn out, point, turn in. Last time, 
and flex. Turn out, point, turn in. Nice. Back down to your lying down on your back. So we're gonna do a lot of things where you lie down and then sit up and do the same thing so that you use the stomach muscles. This time, the arms are going to be in fifth position. So they're right here, which is a means I can just see them in my peripheral vision, not too far back, no arching, please. Hold the stomach, hold the core, and arms fifth position. Then flex the feet, drag them up to plie position, turn out, and then back down and turn in. So knees up, knees out, and out. Turn in once more, knees up, knees out, straight those legs, and down. I lied once more, up, and open, and flex, straighten, and down. All right, let's see how that looks sitting up. So come on, sitting up. You can face me, arms in the same position, stomach is still head, ribs are not arched. Hold that stomach, knit those stomach muscles together. Flex the feet, and in, turning out. Push those heels forward, turning in and up. So it's like we're doing plies standing, but now you're using the stomach muscles in order to reach up and out of the hip bones while keeping the legs nice and still and controlled. Up, flex, last time, and up, out. Reach, reach, reach with those heels and down. Nice and relax. All right, come on back to your back. See, we're flipping up and down. Lie on, down onto, her, onto your back. Find the middle of your mat again. We're gonna do something from Pilates this time. So it's, a, able, it's designed to keep the stabilization and to wake up the hips. And I get a little back stretch in there too. So go ahead and take that right leg to passe and right up to the ceiling. This is a 90 degree angle. Hold there, you are turned in. Stay there and you're gonna make little circles on the ceiling with your toe. So out, two, three, four, everything else is still, five, and a six, and seven, and eight. Then go ahead and bring that in, hug that knee to the chest, relax the hip flexor, and carefully allow that leg like, to cross the body and down to the floor. This is a lower back stretch. Try to relax here. Stay here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Engage the stomach muscles, roll back onto your back, release that leg down, same thing the other one. Up to parallel passe, up to the ceiling, circles, out, one, and two, they're small, three, and four, don't move the standing leg, five, and a six, and seven, and eight, folding in, hug that knee to your chest for a second, relax the hip flexor, and then crossing and twisting. Relax the upper body as much as you can, a long diagonal. Holding eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Roll back, hold the stomach, put, place that foot down, switch. Now you're gonna switch the circles. So foot to the ceiling. Now this time inside circles. In and two, three, and four, pointed foot, five, nice straight leg, six, seven, eight. Now bend the leg, relax the hip flexor. Cross, twist, open up that lower back. Try to relax and breathe. Holding eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice, roll back, relax that leg down. Switch, last time. Passe to the ceiling, inside circles, and a one, two, three, four, and a five, six, seven, eight, and in. Try to relax that hip flexor, give it a nice pull, and then cross. Try to relax that lower back, breathe. Holding last time, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Really nice. Come on back and relax that down. Now we're gonna switch and just do the arms. So the legs are gonna stay still. Ooh, nice and straight on your, on your mat. They're gonna be straight and turned in, parallel pointed feet. 
You're gonna now do just the arms. So holding the stomach, really think about your alignment. Think about stomach up and butt to the, tucked under, and you're gonna come into first position. Nice rounded position from ballet. And then up to fifth, don't let the back arch. Stomach, stomach, stomach. And then back to first, open to second. Now use those pecs to pull those arms back in. And up to fifth, to first, and open second. Don't let the body move at all. This is a stabilization exercise for the torso. And in and open, squeeze together. Make sure it's not a small circle, right? This is something different. These are elbows. This is a long circle. I want you to think that you have a big beach ball that you're holding or big pregnant belly or something like that. So up and down and uh, open, very last time. Relax the neck and shoulders, just hold the stomach. And first, and second, and down. All right, go ahead and relax those legs. So now you're gonna do the same thing. Now the feet are gonna be flexed, straight legs. Now take the upper body off the, the floor, and it's an ab exercise. So up, and first, and second, and closed, and a fifth, and first, and second. Keep breathing, and a fifth, and first, and open, and close. Last time, up, and first, and second, and close, and relax. All right, so all of that stomach that I just talked about and all that stabilization, you're now going to need it for when we're on our side. So we do a lot in floor bar that's on your side because you're creating the same torso position from the back onto your side. So you can keep the head up if you'd like, or flat down, it doesn't matter to me as long as this neck is relaxed. I'm gonna be up here so I can talk to you. So, we're gonna be on our side and we're gonna do passes. This hand is here as a balance point, but not as a crutch, don't, don't lean on it. Lightly there, if you put it right by your stomach, sometimes it will remind you to keep that stomach held. So go ahead and turn out those legs and the back nice and straight, pointed feet, and you're gonna come up to passe. Find that toe to the knee. Don't like rest it there and like hang out. Really light. And then you're gonna turn in and turn out. So this is a stabilization for the torso, but a glute exercise as you turn in and out. So keep going. Try not to fall forward every time and open. It's an isolation of that passe. And in and out. That bottom leg is straight and strong and still. Turn in, turn out, last time, turn in and out. Go ahead and stretch that leg back out and flex those feet. So that bottom leg is gonna, the toes are gonna be just rested on the floor. I'm in nice first position, my heels are together and you're going to tap the inner thighs. So squeeze and a squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. Keep nice and flexed. Right, my quads are engaged, my stomach is held. This is here just as a balance point, not a crutch. And keep squeezing. Stay nice and turned out. That means my glutes are engaged like crazy. And squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. A couple more. Keep breathing. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead and flex, point those feet. Relax them for a second. Now re-engage, stomach, turn out. You can do grand bat ma side. So that means up to the side, straight leg, and down, and uh, up, and down, and up. Try to think of the toe just flying upwards. If you don't have flexibility and it's down here somewhere, that's absolutely fine. As long as you're getting the feeling of kicking it there and then squeezing on the way down, right? So it's like this release, and then squeeze, 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 and release, and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Keep going up, and squeeze, and up. Four more, keep that bottom leg still, and up. Squeeze, 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 and a three. Squeeze, 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 two more. Very last one, nice. All right, go ahead, switch other side. We're gonna do the passes, the beats, and then our grand bat mas. So line up one straight line, please. Turn out the bottom legs, and we're gonna go passe, toe to knee, turning in, and out, and a two, and out, and a three, 
and out. Are you holding your stomach? Four. Can you take that hand off? Five. And out. And a six. And out. And a seven. And out. Keep breathing. Eight more. And eight. And a seven. Squeeze that butt. And six. And five. Just rest that toe. Don't park it there. Four. And a three. And a two. And a one. Nice. Okay, flex those feet. Light toes on the bottom there. Nice straight legs. Engage those thighs. Squeeze those inner thighs and beat. And two. And a three. And four. Squeeze that butt. Five. And six. Check the stomach. Seven. And eight. Second eight. And eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Nice. All right. Point those legs again. Relax for a second. Whew. Re engage everything. Turn out. Point those toes, squeeze that stomach, grand bat ma, and squeeze and lift, and squeeze, kick that leg up, and then squeeze down and up, and down, hold the stomach up, and down, just go to your flexibility height, it doesn't matter how high, as long as you're squeezing that bottom leg straight, don't let it fly up with it, right, really hold everything up, and squeeze four more, four, and a three, and a two, and a one. Nice. All right. Go ahead and come up. We're going to switch to our stomach. We're going to do some back exercises, which is great for the posture. If you sit at a computer all day, this is a great one. All right, onto your stomach. So squeeze those legs. They are turned out back there. And there's one big leg. And I'm going to take those arms in a second. Remember that we did before. So I'm going to lift the back up. Up, hold, and down. Relax, and up, hold, and down. Squeeze that butt back there. And up, hold, and down. Try not to use the arms. It's not this, right? It's just the upper back. And uh, up, and hold, and down. Keep breathing, and up, and hold, and down. Two more, and up, and down. Very last one. And up, and down. Nice, relax those legs back there. All right, we're gonna do some arabesques. So, you can stay down here if you'd like, if that's comfortable for you. I'm gonna be up a little bit so I can talk to you. Either way, the legs back there are the same. So you're gonna be nice and squeezed, turned out, pointed feet, and then you're going to lift, flex, point, and lower, alternate, lift, flex, Point. So remember that flexed point position that we did before, way back at the beginning? It comes in handy right now. And lift, flex, and point. Don't let that turnout go. Really engage it. It's all about turnout. And point, and down, and up, in. Really straight legs back there. Oh, and that's my Band-Aid. Make sure to be careful when you're shaving in the shower. <laughs> and go, and point, and down. Last one, up, and flex and point, relax the necks and shoulders, and up, and flex, and point. All right, very last one, and then we get to stretch. So, again, you can stay down here if you'd like. I'm gonna be up a little bit. You're gonna be turned out, both legs squeezed, then you're gonna take that right leg to passe. So now the toe is right behind the knee. Again, not parked there, lightly touching there. And then you're gonna turn in, and out, and it in, and out. So it's really an isolation of the lower leg. So from the knee down, but I'm doing it from the butt muscles, way up deep. Up and down, bowing those turnout muscles. And down, and up, and down. Is the bottom leg straight? Is it still? Is it pointed? And down, all of those things are super important. If you were standing on that leg, you would need all that. So that's what floor bar is teaching you. So in order when we do it with standing, it comes naturally. Almost there. Last four and a four and down and a three and down and a two. Last one. Really nice. All right, switch. Straighten that leg. Turn it out. Switch legs. Other foot to the knee. Stomach up and out and in. Out and in and a two and in and a three. And then if you want to be down here, four, and then that's fine, and five, and in, and six, and in, and a seven, and in. 
Last eight, keep breathing. End of eight, end of seven. Squeeze that butt, point that toe. And five, and a four, and three, and two. Last one. All right, done. So let's do a little bit of child's pose because I know it can be a lot on your stomach doing all those arabesques with that. So nice, do nice wide knees. Relax the lower back towards the heel. Stretch those hands to the opposite wall. Take a deep breath. Breathe. Nice. We're gonna do a quick hamstring stretch. So sitting on your butt, I'm gonna face this way still. Nice flex feet. Really lift nice straight legs, lift up and forward. If you can grab your toes, great. If you wanna wrap, great. Just try to relax in the hamstring stretch. Breathing there. Check out my cool leotard. Madison by Capizio, I'm a big fan. All right, and up. One more stretch, I'm gonna face forward. Glute stretch, I do this one a lot, it's very important because a lot of ballet is turned out and the glutes are engaged. So sit cross-legged, you can stay here if you'd like. If you have the flexibility, take that ankle over that knee. Make sure not on the knee. Lift up and forward. Try to relax more forward and out rather than head to knee. Sometimes it makes the stretch easier. All right, very last one, switch legs. So you can remain cross-legged with the left in front or take that left and put it up and over the knee. Lift out of the hips and fold forward. So that was just a taste of floor bar. Next week it will be a little bit harder, again a 20 minute thing. My part two of my series, but it will be an intermediate class. And then the week after will be an advanced one. We'll be actually up and at the bar. So tune in if you liked it. This video will be posted in a couple of days under the videos on the homepage of kinetic.com. So you can check that one out too if you liked it and try it again. All right, you can come out of your stretch. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, feel free to comment under the video or find me on kinetic.com or my website, arielshepley.com. Enjoy your week. Bye. I hope you enjoyed my class. If you're in the mood for more, check out these videos.